Hey guys, in a previous video, a, our press operator made the first, first set of measurements against a sample, and we had a failure here, and we had a failure here. This failure we could uh, bring into compliance by adjusting the density, but this failure reflected here, uh, we saw that even by decreasing the density, we would not uh, comply with our tolerance of 3.5. We have it at 3.8 here. Then I came over to this area here and I described how I might add green and yellow to bring it into compliance, but this part of it right here was blocking. So what I'd like to do is take a quick, uh, a quick opportunity to share with you a concept on toning or adjusting ink colors uh, so you can see what I meant here, okay? To do that, let me bring up uh, my software here, okay? Now, in part of my software, Photolab, I'm going to bring in my Pantone base library. Now what this is, is these are the Pantone base colors that make up the majority of your other Pantone colors, your numbered colors like 185 red, 286 blue, that sort of thing, right? So I'm going to use this and I'm going to plot. This is a two dimensional color circle. Um, if you're not familiar with that, there's uh, some, something, some things you need to learn about color theory. But for those of you who recognize, basically all the colors we can see are gonna fall somewhere in here, right? So let's start by taking the yellow and you'll see that white mark right there. That's where PMS yellow falls on this two dimensional uh, color circle, right? Color circle, yeah. Drop in the 12, it's there. And I'm going to drop in all of my Pantone bases. And what we're simulating here is being in a press room where we have all of these bases in our ink lab or ink kitchen or whatever you want to call it, right? So I'm dragging it, and you see how these things, if you're watching here, they're plotting, right? Reflex blue, dup, and move there. Process blue, boop, comes over here. Finally green, boom, and then black. And notice black fell right there. The black is in the center because it doesn't have any color. Otherwise, it'd be out here somewhere, right? So I've plotted my Pantone bases. Um, to make that a little bit clearer, I have a photo right here. And I've plotted the colors, yellow, et cetera, et cetera. You see the way they fall out there, right? So, with that in mind, now we revisit the other software where you'll recall that I was speaking of this fail failed measurement here, and, but I had it blocked here, and I mentioned that if I added yellow and green, maybe I'd bring it into comp compliance. So here's what I'm uh, speaking about, okay? As a refresher, this tells us that if we, we are at a DE of 4.35 from our target, um, if we decrease the density by 0.17, we'll bring it to 3.8, which is still out, uh, uh, above our 3.5 maximum, right? So, uh, having a look at the uh, color circle, and you saw how I generated this, you'll see where um, I'd like to bring this measurement uh, up in this direction. Th the center is my target. This is where I fell relative to the, that target, right? So I need to bring it left and I need to bring it up. This, looking at this, if there was a color in about this region here, it would indeed pull this that way. However, I have yellow, which is a strong puller in this direction, and I have green, which is a strong puller to the left. So a combination of those two would probably bring me up to, in this direction towards my target. And it takes a little bit of feel for the person adjusting the ink to do that, right? It could be also that if I just added yellow, it'll bring it into compliance. Or if I just added green, it, it'll be enough to bring it into compliance, okay? This is where the experience of the ink technician comes in and the decisions of what's happening on the floor and how urgent things are and how much we have to compromise sometimes, right? But that's the uh, idea, okay? 
so now for the uh, next video what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have created a three measurement sets here right that the operator did and I'm going to look at it through the eyes of a supervisor okay see you soon